do you think organisations like Kick It Out are doing enough to stop racism in the game? When Kick It Out first started, I had meetings with um, the the principals. They moved. They came to Preston. Uh, they they asked me to go and meet them at Preston North End. Um, I've got all the badges, and I've got one of them there. And we've supported it in in our league. In fact, there's a link from the Sunday League's website to the Kick It Out campaign. They've gone off the radar. We we get very little through from them. But I don't know whether. They are they're the catalyst for people like myself and, and other organisations to pick up the baton and run with it. They're only a small organisation, they've only a few people working for them. And people like Clark Carlisle, who are high profile, articulate people in the game, are the best ambassadors for that organisation. But they do rely on people like my league and other leagues in this area who are equally as good uh, to... to um, uh, to fly the flag for them and to, to, to keep racism, well, to a minimum, to kick it out, basically. One of the reasons why they aren't as big on the radar as they once were, I think, is due to money. Do you think more money should be made by the Football League and the Premier League to be able to give to them and to stop racism once and for all? You, you're going down a very interesting path now when you're talking about football because the amount of money that in, is in football is, quite frankly, obscene but it's all in one tiny sector at the very top. A league like mine is allowed to make a application for a grant from the Football Association once every two years, not every year, once every two years. And we can apply for the equivalent of 10 pounds per team. Now I've got 90 teams in the league, so we can apply for 900 pounds every two years. But when we get that money, we have to specify what we're spending it on, and we have to send receipts, audited receipts, that we spent the money on it. And the things we've bought in the past are things like this computer here, um, you know, a camera for the for the website. But I can't do, I can't buy another camera. Um, and only certain people on the committee can have computers and so on and so forth. So they're actually giving it with a long piece of string. Now that's at this level. And football is dying on its feet in this country. Believe me. Financially, it's dying on its feet. And on the one hand, you've got that. And then on the other hand, you've got footballers getting £200,000 a week. And some of them wiping the backsides with £20 notes, as we've all seen the video of. And that doesn't go down well at this level that we're operating at. And yes, the answer to your question is, kick it out. And any other a campaign like that, one that deals with homophobic abuse, should be given as much financial support as possible by the FA. I mean, the money they get off Sky in these places is ridiculous.